Welcome back. You're with us on Business Lunch. Well, let's move to the next story. Frontline workforce job creation fell by 17.5% in FY23 compared to the year before, with only 6.6 .6 million jobs created during the year versus 8 million in FY22. This according to the Better Place Frontline Index report released by workplace management SaaS platform Better Place. While the average attrition rose during the year, the average monthly salary earned by frontline workers saw a dip. Ritu Singh joins in with the highlights of this interesting report. Ritu. India created only 6.6 .6 million frontline jobs in FI23, registering a 17.5% decline from 8 million jobs created the year before. This according to a report by Better Place, which attributes the drop largely to macroeconomic headwinds and slowdown in businesses, especially for the e-commerce sector. The share of jobs created by the e-commerce sector has dropped significantly from over 70% in FI22 to just about 33% in FI23 and has been replaced by logistics and mobility and integrated facility management and IT sectors which together contributed to more than 61% of the new jobs created. The average monthly salary however fell by 4.5% to 21,700 rupees with IFM and IT offering higher pays than others. Now while the participation of women in the frontline workforce has doubled since FY22, it still remains an abysmal 6%. E-commerce continues to be the highest employer of women frontline workers. Now, compared to about 12-13% attrition rates in FI22, attrition among frontline workers went up to 15% in FI23, with logistics and mobility and e-commerce seeing the highest attrition rates. Karnataka became the highest contributor to frontline workers, replacing Maharashtra, which was the highest supplier in FI22. And this is largely because of the higher number of jobs also that are now available in Karnataka. 67% of the migratory population of frontline workers now belongs to Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. City-wise as well, Bengaluru has the highest number of jobs for frontline workers and also supplies the most frontline workers. As for states which attract the most of these, Maharashtra contributes the highest at 24%, followed by Karnataka and Haryana. Right, Ritu, thanks so much for getting us that interesting data on the job situation. Now let's also get you some